Hey guys, we went live right away. Hey, it's August, it's Ted, the Ted Show. It's August 23rd, Thursday. Uh, we are on episode, what did I say, 224? 224 even. 224 yes. even. Yes. And look, what, look who I get to be with. Mm -hmm. The talented and beautiful real estate gurus. Linda Guzman, right to my left, and Lulu Rivera Freeman over there. So Kim Kephart's tuning in. Uh, it's super loud in here, so if you guys can, uh, it's only the thunder. So yeah. let us know you can hear us or see us. We're experiencing this crazy storm right now. Uh, so give us a thumbs up because you, you're going to want to hear their story because they're certainly not afraid of the camera. Uh, oh, look, who said that? Ella Do. Those are my girls. Kim Kephart sent. Okay, so they can hear us or see us. So welcome to the show. I did a quick show with you. We did it at the yeah. club. But you, we've, we're all friends, and we're all part of NAREP and the real estate community yeah. here. But they have great stories, and they do so much for the community, not just the real estate community, but the community in general. And so I said, well, let's do a lip gloss and real estate show on the TED show. Why not? Let's do it. Uh, Shirley Stamper says, beautiful girls. Lots of people saying hello. Ralph, Ralph Diamond. Um, I'm old, so I'm trying to read that as we are <laughs> speaking. It's a little further away yeah. today. Uh, so welcome. I'm so happy Thank to have you. Thank you for having us. You guys really do have the greatest hearts, such great spirits. Mm -hmm. And so I know you tell stories. You embrace uh, people who, especially women, you embrace women trying to lift them up and empower them. But people like to know your background story. So give us a little idea about where you came from. Um, I know, God, we're listening. You can hear the thunder. Okay, I'm sorry. He said, uh, don't lie in your don't story. Do not lie in your story. <laughs> Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Uh, but give them a little background because I think people like to know, you know, what's your why? How did you get to your why? Why are you doing what you do? Can I start? Sure. My name is Lulu. Hi. Um, so let's see, where do I start? Um, I am fairly new to the real estate industry. Um, I did mortgages for like five point two five seconds. <laughs> Um, and that's long. And that is long. <laughs> that was that's like 900 years and yeah, dog years. Like long. Um, but before that, I was a paralegal for 20 years. Um, the last 10 year stint was with a criminal defense attorney who was still a really great friend of mine, Jonathan Rose. Um, Hi, Jonathan. I don't want to keep on your good side. Yes, yes. <laughs> he's a good man to know. I mean, he I is. trust him with everything. Yes. Um, and it was, a, you know, it was a challenging career because though I loved what I did, you know, you're sometimes, you know, dealing with people that don't share your morals, yeah. and, and that's okay. But I have to say through that, I met um, two people that I love very, very much. Um, and that helped me get a thicker skin. It helped me to be more compassionate, to um, really dig deep and know that people are people just as they are. I'm also a yoga instructor, so I, I teach. Oh, yoga. that explains. I, I've seen yes. your, so I've seen your slow. post, yes. and immediately yes. I feel very namaste yeah. calm. Yeah, I try so not all the time, but um, so I've been doing that for five years. Yeah. Um, and through yoga, I have found a different person. I mean, I was a very, I was a mean girl. I was like the judgy, like oh my god, type person. Were you? Yes, I, I can't believe. Yes. I, I don't can't know how my wife that. stayed with me. She'll, she'll <laughs> tell you. And the people that know me know that I was super judgmental and, and just kind of me you know yeah. but I, I learned to find myself and to be a little more respectful of others and that has led me to where I am now which I'm super grateful for I'm, I was born and raised in Puerto Rico um, I moved here in 88 and um, it was it was hard you know being being in a new country new yeah. everything I bet. but um, you know I through those hardships and those roads they led me to you know, have my baby at 18, uh, my first baby, hi Shy. Um, hi Shy. And, uh, and she's from beautiful, the, by the way. I've gorgeous. seen pictures. I mean, she's I mean how could she? There, there it is. There's a little bit of it right there. How could she <laughs> not be? Yeah, she's very beautiful. But, um, so, you know, I was a young mom. I divorced um, shortly after that, and then I married again, and, and I have a 15 year old Bella. Um, but through all that the whole time, I knew something was missing from my life. I wasn't sure what it was. I was never completely happy in my marriages. I had two of them. I'm on the third one. Um, and then I realized I need to be married to a woman. Oh. And, <laughs> and that's what I did. So thanks to her support and her, and her kindness and her strong heart and spirit, I've been able to kind of flip the chapter 
Um, I've been wanting to do real estate for a long time. I, I've known Linda for like 10 years. And um, I remember distinctly the day that I realized she was doing real estate and I was like, oh, I wanna do that. Yeah. Um, and we've been trying to get, you know, to be a team for a long time. Yeah. But, you know, things happened that got in the way of that. And um, so I went back to Rollins to get to finish my bachelor's. Um, I took the exam and then my dad called me one day and said, you know what, I need to come stay with you for a couple of days. I have cancer and I need a second opinion. And that turned into him living with me for almost two years, passing away here in Orlando in Sorry. hospice. And um, so I had to put everything on hold. Um, but through that resilience and, and knowing that life is short and at any minute and any moment, second really, anything can change. And it doesn't have to be something devastating like cancer. It can be you, you know, fall down a flight of stairs and break your arm and now you can't type and now you can't yeah. be a, you know, office assistant or whatever. Right. So you have to find what you love and cling on to it and by any means necessary, find a way to make it happen. It may not happen right away. Um, I had to retake the real estate course all over again because it had been two years. So it was past the time that I needed to, you know, take the exam. Yeah. And, um, and then I told Linda, hey, I, I passed, I, I'm, I'm ready. And here we are. I love yeah. it. Yeah. So, Beautiful. Thank you. Christine Cabrera, I saw you, yes, LGBT lives. <laughs> yes, we do I saw that. Love is love. Love, love <laughs> is love. She's amazing. Hi, Christine, love you. Love you. Amazing. All right, Linda Guzman. Tell us about so, you. Um, so thank you for having me. Anyway. I'm very blessed to have I, both of you on the show. Thank I, you so awesome. much. Um, so I was, I'm born in the Bronx. And so I'm a Bronx girl. I've been living in Florida for a, a long time. I love Florida. Been back and forth, but I decided to stay here and raise my kids. I've been in the real estate industry for over 15 years, but never sold. I have an HR degree and um, so I was always doing the hiring and the firing and making sure that the offices were compliant. I never wanted to sell, never interested me ever. And I've been in all walks of life in real estate, but it just never seems like to such sell. a natural thing for you to do. Did you fight did you always want to do it or you didn't um, well, did you it, fight it? Oddly so. Every company I worked for wanted me to sell and they would say that, but I didn't believe in myself. Sure. I was very scared. Mm -hmm. I was content with having my salary. Um, I've always been very ambitious, so you know, by the time I was 19 years old, I, you know, I, I was, I had a baby, single mom. By the time I was almost 20, and um, but I continued on to get my college degree, got my HR degree, got my first corporate job at 20, almost 21, and you know, by 22, I was already making fifty thousand dollars a year. Okay, wow. so to uh, to me back then, I was like, That's I'm huge. banking. That's mm -hmm. um, huge. Bank. Uh, yeah, I'm banking. <laughs> um, but I, because I've always been very ambitious, always been the oddball, always had a lot of pressure on myself to always want more. That's just me. I was just born that way. So, um, uh, fast forward to getting my real estate license. I had my third baby. Got married. Had my third baby. And I decided, you know what, I can't go back to corporate. It's super demanding. Um, I've got my kids and I want to be present. How can I be present and work, be a wife? And I decided to get my real estate license when the market went <laughs> So I'm like, so I remember telling my husband, I'm like, I don't know, I'm just getting my real estate license. He's like, really? Okay, go. And I'm like, I don't know why I'm gonna do it because there's nothing <laughs> happening. We don't I, always you know, know. I right. went through the recession. I, I went through the whole nine yards because I've been in real estate for a long time. When the recession happened, I was in commercial real estate and it hit us hard. So I was a little, I, I, I said to myself, my last job, I was like, I'm never going into real estate again. And then fast forward, I'm like, <laughs> here we are. I'm gonna get my real estate license. <laughs> I got my real estate license, it was a struggle. Um, I don't know if you guys could attest, but usually when you wanna do something positive, crazy things start happening yes. in your personal life. So my father was diagnosed as well with um, cancer. He was given about 17 months to live. I had two little babies at home, I struggled a lot. Went through a lot of ups and downs, and I remember, um, shout out to my brother, I missed a class and because I, I was very overwhelmed, and I said I can't go to and my, I remember my brother saying, you're gonna go, you're gonna finish your class, you're gonna get your license, and you're gonna move forward. And, um, and I said, oh my God, he said, you're never gonna miss a class again. Wow. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do this. I went, 
went to class, went to climbers. Shout out to, hmm. to climbers. I love um, climber. Love climbers. So got my license from there, passed it on the first shot, Good which I was super, super, super shocked about. If you've ever, ever taken that exam, holy crap. It's, it's so intimidating, right? It's so right? intimidating. And when you have two babies, my two babies, my younger two are 12 months apart. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how it happened. I don't know how it, it happened, but I was just like so determined, like I'm gonna get it. Got it, um, posted my picture on Facebook. I got my license, don't know why I got it. And then my girl, <laughs> Veronica calls me. Um, me and V go way back. Veronica Figueroa. Yeah, we go way back. And she's like, you know what, just come to the office and just hang it here and let's figure it out. Cause I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't, you know? Like, what do I, I do with this? I'm not a salesperson. That's so honest though, that's I'm, honest. I'm being real, I'm like, I am not a salesperson. Mm -hmm. Like I need to go back to corporate and I'm not gonna lie to you. I went on interviews. But I, I would, you know, I, I, I would see myself in this beautiful corporate environment, and I'm like, I can't do this. Yeah. I can't do it. I can't right. do it. And I was scared. So my first year of real estate, I was still, it's in my resume. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get a job. Because <laughs> I was so scared. And 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 then one day I just said, you know what? I'm just gonna give it my all. And Good. if I fail, I fail. If I don't make it, I don't make it. Exactly. I have a degree to fall back on. Mm -hmm. I worked really hard for my degree. I was a single mom, a young mom, and um, I did not want to be looked at as a statistic. So I said, I'm gonna get my degree mm -hmm. with my baby. With your and baby. I did it. Mm -hmm. and with my baby, and I did it, and now. But it um, is scary, right? So if you're going from absolutely. corporate where you've got the salary, yes. then all of a sudden everything's on yes. you. It's on your shoulders. So when you go out there, if you don't make a sale, you don't get a buyer, you're not, don't have a contract, and you're not having closings, guess what? Nobody's paying your bills. Right. Nobody. And so it's it can be, I know, anytime you're on a basically a straight commission mm -hmm. job, I've only ever worked a straight commission job, so it doesn't scare me anymore, but I remember yeah. in the beginning going, oh my God, I have a family. What am I gonna yes. do if I don't? Because then it all becomes about you and whether right. you're gonna do it, it's gonna work, and if it doesn't, exactly. you have nobody else to blame. Absolutely. Right. But it's so good that you took the positive approach and you guys threw, threw everything in and you decided this is what I'm gonna do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and especially when you're a mom, yeah. you know, you're like, I have to provide now. And when I went through the recession and I got laid off because real estate went to hit rock bottom, yeah, I was bad. you know living on my own with my child and I'm like, what the heck am I gonna do mm -hmm. now? Right. You know, so. You know, I was really scared of real estate. You know, I, I was. I was scared of it for a long time. Well, sure. It, it can be, again, it's intimidating. And then you never know when you get into, like, you've got your first person and they go, yes. And then you're like, oh my God, that class did not teach me about uh, this exactly. contract. I have oh no idea God. what oh I'm doing. God. I am living testimony <laughs> that I, the way I learn is I have to be on the job. Me too. I can't, like, I'm not the type that can just sit in a classroom and I'm like, I got it all, good, I'm ready, no. let's go do this. I need to lose a deal, I need to mess up a contract, Absolutely. I need to lose a seller, I need people to be pissed off at me, I need to say the wrong thing, yeah. I need to How else are you going to learn if it doesn't Absolutely. happen yeah. that way? Yeah. Absolutely. Because the books, I always tell, so I'm an instructor for insurance and then I'm working on being, if I can say it out loud, Andy, an instructor for a climber. And so really? my whole thing there is, you know, you, you have to learn the stuff in order to pass the exam. Right. It doesn't yes. matter. But then you are really not prepared for what the real real estate yeah. world is like, right? Yeah, you absolutely. really don't know. And so it can be very overwhelming. And you have this person's probably one of their biggest purchases, their yeah. biggest decisions yeah. in their life that they're handing mm -hmm. to you. And you're like, all right, I got it now. Yeah. Now what do I do? It's a huge responsibility. It really huge, is. Huge, huge. And scary. I remember, I remember V for a long time was like, you're a natural, you're a natural. And I mean, now that I've been doing it for so long, I'm like, okay, I get it because you can see a natural right? without, and they don't even have to have a license. They right. just, you're just like, they need to be in real estate, exactly. they're natural. And so fast forward, I got my broker license. Um, and I remember when I obtained the broker license, I didn't know why I wanted to do it either. But again, I'm one of those people that I'm constantly wanting more, yes. right? So I'm sure. like, okay, I got my broker like, what's the next thing I'm gonna yeah. do? I'm constantly, and then I find myself telling my husband, why do I constantly put myself <laughs> in this position? Right, I Because now I, I have it. anxiety, I'm stressed exactly. out. But I just can't stay still, right? right? So I get my broker license. I was almost ready to pop when that happened. Mm -hmm. So yes, so I was what, two and a half, centimeters dilated. Mm -hmm. 
I was a mess. <laughs> she was, I was a walking a tank. Pregnant, pregnant. I was a walking tank. And guys, I failed that test four times. The broker one? Yeah. And I and I failed it and I knew the information. Well, the first time I failed it because I went in hot headed. That I'm doing I this. this. I'm I in the industry. I, I could say, oh, I got it. <laughs> went in, I was like, flop. Don't got this. I know. I went in, I was like, got I this. don't know anything, right? So I was like, all right. So then I decided I had to study. Because it's different getting your, your real estate license, your sales associate right. license, and then your broker license. Because your sales associate, you're like, oh, God, I got to learn. Yeah. And then when you're actually working and you've got deals, you've got listings, you're like, I got this. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you can, you know, attest to all, you know, different information right. that you're going through with your broker mm -hmm. license. You're like, I got this. I'm good. And then the second time I failed, third time I failed, fourth time I failed. But that was because I started rushing. Because yeah. in my head, I was like, I have to do this before I have the baby. So now the pressure's on because I'm like, if I have a baby, I start, I start picturing myself. I'm gonna have a baby. I'm not gonna have time. I'm gonna lose the opportunity. Blah 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 blah. blah. Why do you want to get your broker license? I don't know. <laughs> Why did you? I don't know. Got my broker license, passed it. Um, I remember the day of. I'll never forget. My husband said, you know what? Schedule the test on this day. He said, stop trying to go early in the morning. Mm -hmm. So he he was like, smart man. He's yes. like, schedule it at noon. And and I promise you, I said I'm not going again. So I got my broker license because of him, because mm -hmm. I gave, I was like, I'm done, this is not for me. And um, he's like, let's go to Panera. <laughs> he's like, let's eat something good. That. And he said a prayer over me. Aww. He really did. And he said, and this time I'm gonna drive you. I said, okay. So he drove my little, you know, fat butt to, <laughs> to this testing center. And I can honestly say that I knew I was, I passed it because it was smooth sailing. I was at peace. I was mm -hmm. like, I know this. I got this. Passed it. What did we talk about earlier? All God's, God's, God's timing, timing, right? It was not my timing at all. Yeah. At all. And then, you know, I got my broker license. And I've had the Guzman Group team name for a long time, but never knew. I never met the right fit. You know, I feel like there's a culture in Wait, have team. I been saying it wrong all this time? You said Guzman. 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 And you know what's I something strange? My maiden name is Rivera, and she's Rivera. Mm -hmm. Isn't that weird? Well, I did, cannot roll my R's like that. But Rivera. Rivera. Yes. yes, Josh Soto, the power of prayer. Hi, yes. everybody. Yes. It's and true. so he said a prayer, got my license. And then I decided, you know, one thing that I can say that also scared me about real estate was, okay, not only the commission part, but I was like, I don't want to go through that again where, like, real estate falls. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? That's like, scary. Because I lived it, mm -hmm. right? Um, though I wasn't selling, even though I wasn't selling, and there was a lot of crooked stuff going on back then. <laughs> so, you know, so a lot of these um, companies had me doing, you know, a lot of this stuff. And um, so I was very familiar with the mm -hmm. process. And I, I was scared of that. I was like, what if, you know, I make all this money in six months and then mm -hmm. next year, you know, the market tanks falls again. again and there goes. It's very, that's, it was such a scary time, I think, for everybody who was involved because it was this unknown that just kept getting worse progressively yeah. every day. Like yeah. I was on Snowball the, effect. it just kept going. And Rebecca says hi, by the way. Hi, Rebecca Soda. Uh, and so everybody it's good you're going through it and you think well it can't get any worse well you didn't want to say that out loud too often because yeah. I promise you it got worse <laughs> it, was, it was so bad listen I I was the HR director for um, a a commercial office and um, HR manager no what was I I was the office manager and um, and I did a lot of the HR stuff there and I had to be the one to do a lot of the layoffs in there yeah. and then I knew it was going to be my yeah. I knew it was going to be my turn because yeah. I'm like I'm not needed here anymore right. correct right once you get rid of all the employees there's like, nobody I'm else to fire anybody. yeah and I knew it was my time and I remember as God is my witness my office was clean and I was ready I like felt it I was you like, knew this is my week. you knew yeah Steve Barger says hi and Rebecca hi, says love the TED show and lip gloss and real estate. Yay, lip gloss. All right, so let's fast forward. Tell me, you guys are super successful. You're you're in a career that you love. Love, me too. Uh, and so you're going around, you go, what was the what was the um, thought process behind I want to do a show because they have a show Lip Gloss and Real Estate, which yes. is the title I basically stole uh, for today. But what made you go, you know what, this is important for me to have a show and talk about what you do on the show? For me, and I can let you answer why was it important for you. For me, 
growing up, um, I went through a lot of obstacles in school. You know, either girls liked me or they didn't. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's just a lot of catty things. And then growing up to being, you know, the adult that I am today mm -hmm. and the mother, I still feel in this industry and a lot of a, a lot of businesses we don't support each other. Right. And um, I want to change that culture. And I want it. Listen. I was a single mom. I had a baby at 18. My, you know, I have a, a great family background, you know, that, you know, that I feel like we all have a story, Absolutely. you know, and I have a very interesting story myself, you know, um, we, I went through a lot, we all went through a lot, you know, um, and I feel that at the end of the day, you never know someone's history right. or what they you went know. through, so, so stop giving people a hard time. Right. You know, and I see it even now, you know, if someone's successful or someone does something different, especially women, we don't support them. Yeah. We just, you know, we, we knock them down, we tear them down. We go feel, straight to judging. Yeah, and, and as women, we have to work hard, harder than men. Uh, no, I believe that. Cause here, <laughs> here's what I see a lot of. I see women that talk empowerment. And then the same women that they are literally it. cutting people right. to the core. Dudes are kind of like, I hate you. We might say a few swear words. We punch each other in the arm and then we go have a beer. Right. Like it's definitely different. You Women in general, and I'm not trying to generalize women so don't yeah. give me a hard time, but I feel like when we're in business and we're trying to figure out, oh, I'm going to empower you. But really there's this cutthroat kind of thing that yeah. goes on. Well, you know, it's funny because I'm a mother of four and it's four boys. Okay, so wow. I, I can see the difference. What an impact you're going to have on women because of how you're raising your four exactly. boys. I oh, love yeah. that. Absolutely. Love that. And, and I just feel that, um, you know, we can all be successful together. There's not one woman that can define what success is, exactly. what beauty is, what, what sexy is, what anything is. And what I've learned in the industry, and this is why this, this show was important to me, is because I want to have a platform for women to tell their story to tell their failures, mm -hmm. to tell their success, their fears, and be okay with it and not right. be judged. And also hear other stories to inspire mm -hmm. others because my guests inspire me. And I feel as women, if you're a real leader, whatever walk of life you're in, if you're a real leader, you it's okay for you to say I'm sorry. Exactly. It's okay for you to understand that you don't have it all together. Mm -hmm. You're gonna make mistakes that um, you to be a leader you need a team right. and a lot of time your team that's will lead you exactly that was kind of my 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 reason for also wanting to do it I'm a mom of two two girls um, and I want to lead by example yeah. I want to teach them to be empowered teach them to don't take any crap but at the same time don't give any crap right yes. you know what I mean Amen. be I powerful be strong and, and give some of that to others that may not have the same strength, yes. the same support system. Yeah. You know, my daughter, my oldest daughter has amazing friends that have amazing supportive uh, parents and some were homeless yeah. at, at wow. points in their lives and they all came to stay with me. And I would stay up with them until the wee hours of the morning, telling them, no, you're not what your mom or your dad said or what that boy you were dating. You are amazing, you are strong, and all these girls have grown to be amazing mothers, women, school teachers. You know, for me, empowering myself only empowers my tribe. Well, and what you guys have done, so I wanna address that. I wanna talk about the show really quick. So what you do, because I was on the show that we did, you did here for a little bit, a snippet, but you're creating, and that's the important thing, you're creating this safe environment mm -hmm where the, the women, the people come in and they know there's no judgment. Exactly. Because a lot of people say there's no judgment, but we all know that that is kind of a crazy little world to walk mm -hmm. into. So yeah. if they're dipping their toe into, all right, I'm gonna trust Linda and Lulu, and I'm gonna tell my story, mm -hmm. the last thing they would ever want is for somebody to bash them, bad mouth them, right. judge mm -hmm. them. But you set it up, because I've watched, you set it up where they are 100% comfortable and know at the end of the day they're gonna get a hug from you that you yes. really do support them that you're not gonna go over here on social media and go holy god mm -hmm. did you see that girl yeah. that was just on here exactly. you give the love and you really mean it when you give the love and I think that's so important what you're doing and so people don't have that 
a voice. And so they're nice. looking for it. So when you created the show, I thought lip gloss and real estate. All right, I'm loving the name. Yeah, it's sisterhood. So, and but it's so a sister. What's the title yes. about? Because yeah, it's talk not about the that. title is not about real estate. Okay. Correct. The reason why we titled that is because we work in real estate and we're girls, so lip gloss. But it really is about a stay-at-home mom, right. an entrepreneur, a mother, a single mother, someone that's married. I mean, any walk of life that you have, we want to hear your story. We don't want to hear the stories of how successful I am, oh how God, wealthy I, I am, first. how all I wear is red bottoms and Louis Vuitton. I'm not interested. Yeah. It doesn't impress me. Me either. What not even remotely. It doesn't impress me it, at all. What impresses me is where did you come from? How did you get there? How are you still right. there? And right. how do you how do you continue to sprinkle that everywhere you go? Yes. Right. Yes. The real estate part for me is a real estate of being. Mm -hmm. Of oh, being. I like you that. know what I mean? That's like good. being real with yourself. Right. Yes. You know, we don't. I don't always look like this. Right. You know. What you don't? No. Yes. I wake up looking like this in a pink, in a pink I, jacket. I believe you do. <laughs> I believe. But you, you know, do. it's it's a real it's it's. it's being real with yourself and know that you have a place to say, you know what, I'm not into it today, I'm not feeling it, this is why. Talk about, you know, relationship issues, motherhood issues, lady issues, marriage, yeah. whatever. And you're not always going to have it all together. Exactly. And that's what the platform is for, so women can see it's okay to have a breakdown. Mm -hmm. It's okay to get in a fight with your friend, your coworker. Mm -hmm. It's so okay because you're not, if you're right. portraying to be perfect, then that's not right. normal. Well, but what people, so what happens is why, another reason I love the show is both of you are incredibly put together, beautiful, professional. I mean, everything looks like it's in place, but you're willing to be vulnerable enough on the show. And like we just said, and go, it's not all perfect. Not. I'm not always let, look like this. I'm not always having a good day or a great day or even exactly. remotely good day. Like, so you're willing to share that. And what happens, I think, is that people go, wow. If she can be successful and still have bad days, then maybe what I'm going through, I can get through. And that's what you're pushing on the that's show. The and that's the motivation and the empowering part. Yeah. Exactly. And now we have a group, a Facebook group, where, you know, we're encouraging women to just, you know, you wake up, talk about your day. Yeah. Did you wake up? Are you in a bad mood? Did your kids give you a hard time to go to school? Talk 24 about 7. My kids used to give me a hard time. All right. Matt Gordon. Yes, Matt Gordon, you are perfect. I love you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> cute. Uh, Dan Pacheco, that's right. Real people make real estate. I like that. Yes, it's very, very nice. true. It's very, very nice. true. So um, that's that's lip gloss and real estate yeah. in a what? In a snapshot. And I love it. So when I was I was listening to the show because the first one that I was able to like partake in for a minute, you had a few ladies over here in the wine room, yeah. my other favorite room of the club. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it has wine. 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 Hello. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, you, I just felt like there was this energy of acceptance, mm -hmm. and a lot of times people are not brave enough until they feel like, oh my God, I can take this next step because I'm accepted here no matter what. And you create that environment for them. I mean, I think it's beautiful. I think Absolutely it only beautiful. works if it's genuine. Agreed. Right? Um, oh, you can't fake this if stuff. If you have a script and you're just doing this to promote yourself or your business, it's not going to work. That's why I love, I love, people always ask me, why aren't you recording? Okay, first of all. I'm not going to OCD over editing out my chins and my cheeks <laughs> yeah, and oh my god, how many wrinkles off. do I have yeah. and oh my god, Ted, you're sweating. Um, I want to just be real in that moment right. and present yeah. and if you are like that, which you guys do on your show, people respond because they don't get it all the time. They see all this bull that's on Facebook where everybody looks pretty and everybody's having right. a great day and that's look at my dessert right. that I can't really afford and look mm -hmm. at my wine. And then people don't yeah. know how to, they judge themselves against that right. and they don't realize how false that is. And we already judge yeah. ourselves. Ourselves. You we're know, like our worst is, critic as right? women. And you know? men. Right. I mean, yeah. we're all, you know, but women, because we, we, we have like, to feel we like have to, to look put a certain it, way. You know, it's like we have to have it together all exactly. the time. Exactly. And it's not like that, you know. No. And, and I think another part of the show that I love is that it's not just for real estate, but when we do have our real estate sisters, you have Keller Williams, you have Remax, you have Century 21, you have, it's not about your brand, it's, it's about you. How do, it's you. And, yeah. and how did you do this? And how did you do that? And how can we benefit from what you're doing? And we've been blessed enough to have guests that are okay with sharing. Not everybody wants to share they don't. the yeah. secret sauce. But if you are willing to share it, 
just know that you're just gonna get more back. You plant the yeah, seed. I'm a exactly. big believer in that too. You plant the seed. Trust me, if you give, you're gonna get a hundred million Absolutely. fold back. You Absolutely. just have to trust in whatever your higher power is. I trust in God. I know that I'm gonna give back and eventually it's gonna come back to me in ways that I would never have imagined. And you that's know, what you guys This did. platform has allowed a lot of our guests mm -hmm. to either obtain business from yes. it new friends, mm -hmm. new groups, and Support. that to me makes me feel good. It's like my sure. job is done. Yeah, my job my is job done. Right. I connected the dots, yeah. you got business, you got a friend, you got this, you got that, I got love it. Other. Yeah, I because know. the platform is not even about us. No, no it's you not. Know, though, I, le I always leave inspired yes. me too. and super humble. Always, but you know, you got somebody put that on there. I can't, I think it was Maggie Rawls, maybe. She so she said something, and she said something about humility, and that's really what we're trying to accomplish in the shows that we do. We want to bring people on, and I'm always humbled by, oh my God, these yes. people went through this, and look where they're at, mm -hmm. or they're willing to uh, take a chance, be vulnerable, and you don't understand how impactful that can exactly. be for another oh human gosh. being. One yeah. human being is. I get met private messages later on every single show. Oh my God, Ted, that person inspired me. Yeah, uh, and that's what you guys do too because you have the same approach. You have the same heart when you're uh, going into it. All right, so we're past our time. I know it goes fast, right? So we're going to share all of Linda and Lulu's contact information, how you can reach out to them, how you can watch Lip Gloss and Real Estate on their show. Uh, and you know, real estate in Central Florida, where else do you want to go? I love all you guys that are on mm -hmm. here that are realtors. But and we love you guys too. We, we do. all do, yeah. right? Yeah. That's yeah. the funny thing. Seriously. People go, you guys are really competitive. I go, you know what? Mm -hmm. We all want to do well, but we also wish people well. Oh, yes. We want people to be successful. Yeah. And I think a lot of times because of your point of reference, you don't believe that that's actually how we feel. Yeah. And I can we promise do. you that's how we feel. Absolutely. Uh, all right. So, any parting words of wisdom for them? Anything you want to share? And you guys can pick who goes first. Um, anything that you know you want to impart some wisdom. So, on. my nugget for the day is to just be real, right? Yeah. Um, you don't have to. I, I I meet a lot of people, especially girls, that get their real estate license and then they're scared. They don't know what to do because all they see is. You know their friends taking pictures in mansions and this and that oh my god i'm never going to be that top producer you have your own story be real um your success you don't have to compare it to anybody right. anybody's mm -hmm. any any anybody else's success right mm -hmm. compare it to yourself right whatever i said mm -hmm. um, i know what you meant yeah it, it makes sense whatever so that you know that's my note yeah. is just be real just be real because that's going to take you further exactly than trying to be something that you're not exactly agreed to me is, you know, it's okay to not be okay. It's okay to feel Amen. like you're not Did you hear what she said? It's, it's okay, okay to not, not to be, be okay. okay. Yeah. And when you feel like you're not okay, ask somebody for help. Amen. Yeah. Because half the time you're like, and I've done this, oh, I don't want to burden so and so. Right? And you know, I, I, they I have it. enough problems of their own. But you know what? I guarantee you that if you phone a friend right now, if you're going through something, they will put whatever they have on hold yeah. to help you out. Mm -hmm. And if you are, ready to make the leap to do something different like I did, whether it is, it doesn't have to be real estate. Yeah. If you want to be a school teacher, a yoga teacher, a mortgage person, whatever you want to do, know that it's okay to do it. You know, yeah. take the leap, take your time and do it and align yourself with people like these amazing souls right here that will empower you to do better, to be better. But don't forget where you came from. Amen. Don't yeah. forget where you were. Because just because you're this great top producing person now, that is that reflective of who you were. Sometimes right. we forget we do. about where we came from because so we have a little more coin in our pocket, you know? Yeah. And don't ever let anybody anybody make you feel like you are less than a who you man. are. Like average? You're not exactly. That's, that's been a that, that's a, been a word uh, that we hear a lot yes. lately. Yeah. You're not average. You're, you're not you're average. Amazing. Average. Listen to them. You're yeah. not you're not. Average. You know, just you can set up your your business goal, your your goals for the, the year, for the month, whatever. For you. For you. And if that means that it looks like this compared to this to somebody that's else's, okay. that's okay. And guess what? If you don't meet them, there's that's another okay month. <laughs> you know, and if you exceed them, exceed, then exactly. bring and perfect. Exactly. <laughs> but, you know, and if it doesn't happen right away, that's okay. But average is something that you need to remove from your vocabulary. Agreed. Yeah. It's, you're not. 
All right, you guys are beautiful and amazing, and I mean beautiful inside and out. They're just the real, wonderful human beings. I'm blessed to have you guys on the show and to call you my friends. I love you guys. All right, so we'll share all of their contact information later. And you know what? If you've got a story, reach out to them for lip gloss and real estate. Yes, please do. Uh, thank you guys for all the comments. We'll respond later. I'll be back in about 35, 40 minutes for my last show of the day with Nadia Quinton. She's mm -hmm. got a great story. Um, so we love you guys. Thank you so guys, much. Thank you. thank you so much. We love you. And then we're, we haven't finished with the up level.